Ghana State Governor Yensom Ezewanwike has praised the Christian community of the state for standing firm to defeat the forces of democratic darkness on March 9, 2019. The governor noted that Rivers Christian insisted on Rivers' mandates must be respected despite the ugly plots against River State. <laughs> Spoke at the 2019 election victory Thanksgiving service in his honor and Deputy Governor Ipalibo Hari Banigu by all the Anglican Diocese of River State at St. Paul's Cathedral, Port Harcourt on Sunday. I want to first thank them for the commitment. I want to use them to thank the church. Of course, all of us know what happened on March 9th, 2019. Of course, in history now. But it's important for all of us to realize that, but for the prayers of the church, the prayers of Rivers people, it will not have been possible at all. Governor Wiki assured the church that he will never disappoint the church, noting that he will continue to deliver development to the states. I will not disappoint the church. I will continue to work closely with the church and I will continue to support the church in whichever way I can. Be assured that I, being in charge of this state today, will continue to support the church. I will not look back because I know what the church did. When people think that they are God, people did not know that they cannot take over the role of God. I, I thank you so much. I have some, some people who are angry that I said that River State is a Christian state. Maybe they didn't hear me well. Let me say it said they will hear me well. Let me say it said they will hear me well. I should be. I have not said before that River State is a Christian state. But what happened on March 9th? 2019, would he not say that the state is a Christian state? So I hereby declare also that River State is a Christian state. <laughs> Those of you who may not be happy wherever you are, you can call it whatever you want to call it. I, as governor, said River State is a Christian state. And nobody can intimidate me to change that uh, position. He stated that all his actions during his second term will be geared towards growing the state. He said some of his policies may be tough, but they will be pro-people in nature. I know that most of you, your expectations are so high in terms of to get personally. I may not be able to fulfill that, but I will fulfill what will help and make River State to grow. And so there are policies, you may not like them, 
The governor retreated the state's rejection of frugal settlement for headsmen in whatever form it will be introduced by the authorities. He said that the state can only donate ocean water to the system via laying of water pipelines to serve the cattle in the northern parts of the country. The frugal thing you are talking about, I don't even know the meaning. Can you be involved in what you don't know the meaning? No. We don't have land to give. We have water. Is it not true? They put part here and take oil, don't say anywhere, it's not true. They should come and put part and take water and go and feed the cow. In that way, we have contributed. But anything has to do with land, not here. I'm not the party to that. So, don't bother about river says it is not going to be available. In a sermon, the Anglican Bishop of Okrika Diocese, Right Reverend Tuboko Sime Abere said the Tanzanian service marks the beginning of a glorious era in River State. That today marks the debut of a glorious era in our state. This Thanksgiving will bear fruit and spirit of Thanksgiving. And then the attitude of thanksgiving will never cease in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Bishop Abere urged all rivers politicians to work with the River State Governor to develop the state in line with the hand of reconciliation extended by Governor Wiki. My dear River people, we want to urge you embrace the reconciliation the executive governor has given out as an olive branch, it is time to walk. The time of fighting is uh, over. This is our state. We cannot leave it for other persons. It is how, how you make your bed. That is how you are going to lie on it. He commended the River State Governor for his astounding performance in his first term and urged him to step up the temple in his second term. President, River State has been transformed from what we knew it before, what people now people used to call it garbage state, but now it is but now it is still a garden city. The appellation that was given, the workaholic, the project governor, fits him so well that no other governor in the other 35 states have been able to wear that cap. The new touch our roads have received, the expansion of and construction of good roads, provision of essential amenities, two, two numerous dimensions, the scholarship scheme that is going on for the uh, undergraduate and postgraduate both within and outside of this country, what about our hospitals? They have got a new lift. We also thank God for the support is given to the the government is given to the security people to maintain security in our time. The cleric noted that the, the Tanzanian service is necessary to appreciate God for standing with rivers people during the elections and stopping the enemies of democracy who wanted to impose a government. We are here in particular to thank God for a specific purpose to thank God for making it possible for River State to have respite of peace. By the grace of God, when um, on the 3rd of May, the result of River State was uh, declared, the governorship result was uh, declared. People want to capture River State by force, but it was not possible for them. And we thank God that our governor was successful in that uh, election. The St. Paul's Choir and the Government House Portacot Choir sang two songs that prayed God to bless River State, grant her peace, and create the right environment for development.
Thanksgiving service was officiated by the Anglican Bishop of Okrika Diocese, Right Reverend Tubokosime Abere, Bishop of Diocese of Ahoda, Right Reverend Clement Ekbeye, Bishop of Ogoni Diocese, Right Dr. Solomon Egberegbara, Bishop of Eche Diocese, Right Reverend Okecheku Umwala, Bishop of Ikure Diocese, Right Reverend Blessing Eyinda, Bishop of Evo Diocese, Right Reverend Innocent Odu, Bishop of Naja Delta Diocese, Right Reverend Colinius Ebirieni, and Bishop of Naja Delta North, Right Reverend Wisdom Ihumo. In a remark, Bishop of Evo Diocese, Right Reverend Innocent Odu, the entire Anglican community in River State celebrates Governor Wiki and Deputy Governor Ipalibo Harry Banigo for their contributions to the development of the state. As we thank God today for the victory granted them, we also want to use this forum to somehow appreciate them, celebrate them, and encourage them to do more. He said that governor and his deputy as confirmed Anglican parishioners have lived up to the expectations of the people. Prayers were set for River State Governor Wiki, Deputy Governor Palibo Harry Banigo, and the country. All diocese published goodwill message for the River State Governor and his administration. The God of peace and comfort, who has always said unto his people, each time he meets with them, I will declare peace be unto you. Father, we want to thank you for the relative peace we are now enjoying. We thank you, Lord, that all over the state we are enjoying peace in one small measure or the other. I know that it is not yet finished. I will still need more peace from you. Father, we ask, O oh God, that we grant unto your servant, the governor, unto the wife, unto the deputy governor, peace, peace of the body, peace of the mind, and peace of the soul. We ask, Lord, that in all they do, your peace shall accompany them. Your peace shall never be dead. We pray for all the local government areas and we ask of all the same peace shall accompany the chapel and the counselors in the name of Jesus Christ. Right. Heavenly Father, that we give this brother in the name of Jesus Christ. of praise and worship rent the air and lifted the spirit of parishioners who attended the Thanksgiving service. You rain.